Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu. Beetle or bite mark? So there are some very cool forms of camouflage. Insects that pretend to be twigs, insects that pretend to be leaves, octopus, squids, cuttlefish, all of these can change their colours and to an extent their shape to match the background that they're in. And in some species they have 30 to 50 different changes. Caterpillars that look like bird poop, no one wants to be bird poop. Crabs that wear detritus, dead stuff that they find on the floor in order to blend in. Flatworms on coral that look like coral. Snake mimic caterpillars. Caterpillars that actually look like the head of a snake. Crab spiders that are camouflaged as flowers. The list goes on and on and on and on. But now there are beetles that camouflage themselves as the bite marks that they leave on the leaf. So check this out. The beetle actually bites and scrapes and eats the leaf and then it looks like the bite marks that is actually left on the leaf. Genius! Frederick Venkel and his colleagues from Stony Brook University in New York, they couldn't properly pick out skeletonizing leaf beetles on heavily chewed leaves. And they thought, why is this? So they looked at photos of 119 different species and compared them to size, shape and colour of the bite patterns that they left. And they found that for most species, the beetles actually resembled their own bite marks. If the beetle was a darker colour, then the bite marks would be darker. If the beetle was a lighter colour, the bite marks would be lighter. And this was even the case in distantly related species, meaning that this form of camouflage evolved independently. So there was an evolutionary selection pressure for the beetles to actually look like the bite marks that they left on the leaves. And the other amazing thing is, normally if a beetle attacks a plant, it starts to bite into a leaf, it triggers the plant's own chemical defence mechanism, so it releases chemicals which means that the leaf doesn't taste as nice to the beetle. In this case, it's thought the beetle makes the plant think that it's just regular old wind damage. What I mean is the beetles are biting the leaf in a way that doesn't cause the defense mechanism chemical response that usually occurs. The beetle actually looks like the bite marks it leaves in the leaf. That is just amazing camouflage in the natural world, is an amazing thing. That is beetle or bite mark. Thanks for tuning in. Love you, bye, love you, bye, love you, bye.